Hello and welcome to the training video where we're going to be looking at how we can bring in a JSON feed. So what is a JSON feed? Well, it's a web feed file. It's a way that we can sort through different types of data and just purely publish the relevant data that we would like to have on our screens. If you log into your digital signage solution, you'll be directed to the home page. From your home page, we're going to move up and we're going to click on new creative. We can either start with a blank page or use one of the pre-made templates where we can edit the content within it. For this video, we're gonna start with a blank page. So I'm gonna click on the plus symbol. On the left-hand side are my widgets, and this is how we bring in our content. In the middle is our canvas, and this is what we will publish to the digital signage screens. And the right-hand side are our settings. The settings will change depending on which widget we're currently using. At the moment, we're on the default settings, so the creative settings tab. And the first thing we're gonna do is rename our creative or presentation. So I'm just gonna call this one JSON. If I now scroll down, we can now add in that particular file. And to do that, if we click on the very bottom where it says preview, load preview parameters. And if I scroll down to the very bottom, we can see API. If I move across and click onto the pencil, it's asking me now to add an API. So I'm gonna click on the add button. Now we can bring in an API via a URL, so live data, or we can bring it in via a JSON file. And to do this, we're gonna click on manual. We're gonna give it a name, and I'm gonna call this one air. Property key will be one. And then under data, we're just simply gonna copy the JSON file. If we added another um, JSON file, it would be the name and then property key if we added a third name followed by property key three. So if I now click on save, we know it's there now and I'm going to click on OK. So now to bring this into our presentation, what we're going to do is go across to the left hand side to our widgets and we're going to scroll down until we come to label. I can either press and hold my mouse button down and move it and place it onto the canvas or I can press it once and it will appear in the middle. To move it around the canvas, press and hold your mouse button down and then you can move around the canvas until you find the right position. To make the widget bigger or smaller, move your cursor to a side or to a corner and then simply press and hold and then drag your mouse back and forth and it will get bigger or smaller. So I'm going to leave it roughly that size. Now we're going to choose what information we're going to bring in from that JSON file. So to do that, we're going to go up to the top right hand corner. We're going to click on the parameters button and we're going to click our mouse once in the search bar. It's now asking us, do we want to bring in at custom API? I'm going to say yes. I'm now going to bring in one, which was the JSON file number we allocated. And then we can now start to bring in different types of information. So I'm going to start off with information to start with followed by title. I'm now going to click copy. Now we've got it copied. I'm gonna move over to the right hand side and we've now gone into our labels setting. Here we can choose what font we would like to have it displayed at. Or we can upload a new font via a TTF file. We can choose the size of the text, the color of the text. There we go, I'll go for blue one click on the X. I can then make it italic, bold or underlined, and I can choose the alignment. Now we're ready. All I need to do is paste and then click return. And we can see it over here, air quality. So that was the title. Now I'm going to bring in more information. So I'm going to add another label, make it a little bit bigger just to match. I'm going to go up, click on my parameters again, click on custom API, click on one. And we're gonna to go to info again. And this time I'm gonna bring in description, copy, paste it into my label tab. And as we can see, it's now brought in a little bit more information. And this is how we would add a JSON file. We would just keep adding different labels in and then choosing the information we would like to bring in from that API Johnson file. I hope you've enjoyed watching this training video on how to bring in information from a JSON file. Thank you.